Today we're talking to another healthcare worker on the front lines of the coronavirus pandemic. Joining me is Melody Dickerson, the chief nursing officer at Virginia Hospital Center. Melody, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Thanks for having me. So let's begin with where things stand currently when it comes to COVID-19 patients at your hospital. So we have been very pleased with the progress that we're seeing over the last um, really two weeks. Uh, we are seeing volumes that we've not seen since April the 4th. Uh, so about half of what we saw um, at our peak. So very encouraging. That's definitely a sign of progress. Are you concerned, though, about patient levels increasing as more businesses reopen in our area and also all the protests that we're seeing as well happening where there are large groups of people in very close proximity? Yes, yeah, certainly that's keeping me up at night. Um, you know, with the opening uh, was one thing, but with the protest, um, certainly that adds another layer of complexity to the situation. They say that um, you know the average time from uh, the moment when someone might come in contact with the virus to um, actually exhibiting symptoms is going to be somewhere between five and nine days. So as I'm counting it, we're about four days out. Um, so we'll continue to monitor next week. Um, you know, I have been encouraged when we, uh, you know, the footage that I've seen that you know a lot of the protesters are wearing masks. Um, I hope that they certainly continue to do that, and um, I hope in, in, uh, that on their belongings they also have um, hand sanitizer and are using that often. So how do you make use of that time, that lead time, that leeway time that you mentioned that you may have to uh, prepare in anticipation in case there is a spike? Yeah, so our staff have been very resilient through this whole process. Um, and, you know, since our volumes are down a little, um, it's given us a chance to, you know, frankly, give people a, a day off uh, so that they can recharge their batteries. Uh, we have opened other areas of the hospital uh, that um, really came into play about two weeks ago. So we have that additional bed capacity that, um, you know, six weeks ago we did not have. Mm. So I feel very confident that no matter what happens, you know, we have the staff in place and the space in place to be able to take care of those patients. Well, that is certainly good to hear. What have nurses done at the hospital to make patients feel safe and connected to their families when they can't be together physically during this pandemic? You know, I think for our nurses, that's been one of the most difficult challenges of this whole pandemic um, is, is really filling that void that's left behind when we are having to restrict visitors uh, such as how we are. Uh, we've been able to um, put to use technology. So we have iPads in place and we've been scheduling visits with our families uh, so that you know the nurses can get their work done uh, without interruption and really have the time to um, sit in the room with the patient and the family, get all the questions answered and really you know have that connection. Mm -hmm. um, in addition to that, you know, we've had nurses just be incredibly creative, uh, going, uh, you know, bringing patients down to the lobby so that they can have a uh, through the glass interaction with their family members. Um, you know, using the iPads, we have uh, iPhones that the nurses use. They'll use that to make the connection. Um, notes, uh, just everything we can do to uh, keep that connection with our families and keep the lines of communication open is just so important at this time. Well, we know this has been a physically and emotionally challenging time for healthcare workers. So we thank you all so much for what you're doing. And thank you, Melody, for your time this evening. We will be sure to post this interview on our website, WGLA.com.